All right, guys, here is a quick introduction to the different dissection tools. Uh, before I start this, these are surgical grade tools. I know that because when I buy the scalpels, on the scalpels it says surgical scalpel blades. So these are the same things that like doctors would use for surgery. So PPE in effect. We'll start with the uh, most popular choice and actually the tool that you'll use the least during dissections the dissection scalpel. It's a scalpel. Make sure you hold it by the uh, handle. The blade is very, very sharp. The scalpel is used for cutting uh, lighter tissues and things that are really soft. Nothing hard should be cut with the scalpel. So the styrofoam plate should demonstrate nicely. When you cut with the scalpel, it's not a knife. In fact, really, you, you shouldn't use it uh, even knives the way most people do. If it doesn't have a serrated blade, it's not for sawing back and forth. So it's a scalpel. What you do is you just draw a line. Oh, that styrofoam sounds good. Right in the tissue. And if you're not satisfied with the depth of the cut, then you just retrace your line in the same direction. You continue doing that until you have achieved the proper level of cut. Just draw the line, draw the blade. See, I'm drawing it with the blade end. Don't go uh, against it. And just continue drawing that same line over and over until you have achieved the cut. That's how you use a scalpel. Yay, I cut a styrofoam plate. Next, this is the dissection needle. This is really good uh, for stabby things. It's really not good for doing that with. That uh, is uh, going to get you points off if I see it. So this is really good for like scraping away uh, internal levels of tissue, things that are uh, stuck on there and you need a, a good like sharp point to do so or just a very precise pointing. So the dissection needle is good for that. Here's the probe. This is good for pointing at things, uh, especially things that you don't want to point at with your finger because you know, there's five organs. Oh, I just touched all five with my finger. Which one am I pointing to? I don't know. Use the probe for all pointing type things. And anytime you just want to generally explore the tissue without using your hands. Although, uh, a lot of times you're going to want to use your hands. We have the forceps. You'll notice on the ends of these forceps, uh, there's precise pinching. Good for grabbing tissue, good for picking things up, but also good for just grabbing little pinches of soft tissue and just that. And the scissors. The scissors are what you're going to use. They're scissors. The scissors are what you're going to use for anything harder. So like this kind of material, it's a, it's a red solo cup. You would not be cutting with the scalpel. You'd be cutting with scissors. You'll notice that the scissors have two different ends on them. There's a rounded end and there's a stabby end. The stabby end uh, will stab things. So when you're cutting, like if this is an organism, when you're cutting it, you want to put the rounded edge on the inside because that will uh, help you not impale all its organs. And you just use them like scissors for the most part. Uh, make sure when you're cutting, I see a lot of kids, they try to put this down here and they do some weird like this type of thing. Don't do that. Don't do that. Use forceps if you need to pinch something up to get a first initial incision. And then you just draw your scissors horizontally exactly like you would be cutting anything else. Make your cut, make your cut, make your cut. That's how you use these scissors. Yay, I cut a piece of red solo cup. In your tray you've got this foamy pad, which is fun, especially, you know, cleaning it because you have to take it out and clean under it. But let's say you want to pin something down, like if I want to pin this down. The pad is designed to have pins stuck in it. Not pins everywhere that get in the way of everything you're trying to do. But if this is a specimen and you're trying to dissect it, if you want to pin something out of the way to hold it down, what you got to do is really pin at a really extreme angle and just take it right through, like, like sideways-ish, take it right through the material. So watch, when I pin it, I don't just stick the pin in straight, because that doesn't give you a very good hold. What you do instead, you take the pin and go through at a really, really extreme, see the angle on that? Just a really extreme angle, see that? It does two things. It gives you a lot nicer hold, but it also keeps the pin head out of your way. So pin that one, see, at a really nice extreme angle, uh, like so. Those are your dissection tools. Thanks for watching, everybody.